Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. Reaming my body, clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick, you need a tissue. You drop a body, I just might bless you. I'm at your session. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Ray here, back with another video. Now, today's video, you guys asked for it, so I decided to make it. And basically, what it is, is helping you guys boost up your FPS. Whether you're on PC, whether you're on console. Now, obviously, if you're on PC, I have a ton and tons of tricks, tricks and tips that you guys can use to help boost your FPS. If you're on console, there's only a couple, but I'll put a timestamp right now on the bottom of the screen that you can go to and use those specific ones. And trust me, they will help boost your FPS. But if you're looking for like a 30, 40, 50 even FPS boost, then watch this video and try your best to follow all the tips possible. And again, I will be streaming today if you guys want to come check me out. I will be doing Storm Wars, playing with viewers, practicing for the Trio Cup. Whatever the case is, make sure you guys check me out at Wraith AM on Twitch or the link in the description. And you guys already know, make sure you slap that like button, make sure that subscribe button. Comment what you want to see for a future video, use creator code WraithFN in the item shop, and let's get right into today's video. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and these will again all be on Windows right now, and then if you want to skip to the end of the video, I'll put a timestamp where you can go if you're just on controller, or I mean console, then you can still boost your FPS a little bit. But for the first one is we're basically going to disable all the Windows visual settings. It's a very, very important one. It doesn't affect your PC that much, and I'll make sure you guys still have it looking very clean. So basically what you're going to want to do is go to your search, type in the control panel, open it up. You're going to want to go to system and security. It might just say system for you. If so, click system. You're going to want to go to system if you're not already in it. And then right, you're going to pull up this screen and you're going to want to go to advanced system settings where it'll pull up the system properties. And then basically what you want to do from there is go to performance. So it'll say performance, visual effects, processor, blah, blah, blah. You want to click settings and it should go to like it should be on one of these three right now. But basically, you can either go just straight adjust to best performance. But I recommend to go custom and then leave these three on and the reason for that is basically it just allows your pc to look a little bit cleaner it allows it to look a little bit better than without these because for example you won't be able to see your thumbnails if you're on your icons etc and all your boxes will look a little bit weird so i recommend keeping these three on and trust me they won't affect your pc at all so i definitely recommend keeping these three on so exiting out of that now the next thing you want to do is type battery so power and sleep settings will pull up and basically right here, it'll show this screen and you're going to want to go to additional power settings and it'll pull up this screen and you should be on balance right now if you haven't already changed it. And basically what you want to do is click show additional plan and you want to go into high performance. I downloaded a separate thing where basically I, it allows you to use ultimate performance. I'm not going to show you guys that just because I'm not sure if it does affect your PC in any way. So right now you might have ultimate performance if you have a really good PC already, then you can click that. But if not, just click high performance. It'll basically do the same thing. And that's basically all you need to do. And then you just want to exit out of all of that then this next tip i'm going to do is basically just showing you guys how to delete all the dust drivers and everything you have saved and what you want to do is go into run and then hashtag or not hashtag what's what's this word you, you guys know what i mean um temp and then that and then you want to click okay and it's going to show up all this and it depends if you guys clear your temp files a lot, there will be like, you can scroll for minutes, right? And then if you guys clean this up quite a bit, then that's cool too. So basically what you want to do is you just want to select all of it and delete and just do, do all for this current items. It still won't delete everything, but that's basically all. And trust me, as I said this, this won't do anything and it won't harm your computer. It's just a bunch of useless files that your computer saves, whether it's like app crashes or something like that. But trust me, it doesn't have any, any effect on your PC. And then next you want to go into your recycling bin and do empty recycling bin. So it's deleting everything inside your recycling bin. Again, I have 2,746 items, so probably going to clean it up a little bit. And this just allows your PC to run a little bit smoother. Next, we're going to go into search and do msconfig. So show system configurations. 
and basically you want to go to services hide all microsoft services and disable google update services and google update service goop date m or whatever you want to say it and then also if you don't use corsair and you have it on here you can disable that so basically anything that you don't use that you know 100 percent you don't use you can disable if you don't know don't disable it like i just watched a couple of videos where everyone was disabling this google one so i disabled it but again if you don't know don't disable it i don't know if it has any effect i know the google ones don't but anything else i can't be certain for so be aware unless you know what you're doing don't disable anything besides the google ones Next, we're going to disable all the background apps, which kind of just uses your storage when you're playing Fortnite or whatever. So you're going to go to click the Windows button. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to privacy. And then basically you're going to go to background apps, which is right here. You're just going to scroll down and basically you want to turn this off. So I just double checked before you want to turn off everything for I'll talk about the game bar in a second, but you want to turn off everything and then click off. But since I need it for game bar, I'm going to keep, keep it on. And then basically if you wanted, you could go to game bar, which is right. Let's see. So you're going to look up game bar. And this is if you want to record your setting or your gameplay. So for me, I don't record it through OBS. I record it through my game bars to clip my gameplay, clip my clips or whatever the case is. So if you guys aren't like recording anything and you just want to play Fortnite strictly for the FPS, strictly improve your FPS or whatever the case is, or you use OBS, then turn this off. And I definitely recommend turning it off. It will save quite a bit. So turn it off again. I need it on. And then another thing you can do is captures. Just make sure recording the background I'm playing a game is off. Record audio in a game, etc. All these are off. Broadcasting, everything's off. Game mode off. Blah 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 blah. Right? Oh, actually, game mode. Keep on. But broadcasting captures and game bar, you want to turn all off if if you if you don't need this. If you want to record your gameplay, this is a really good way to do that, and I recommend keeping it. If not, then you can delete all of it. Now the next one is is basically you're going to upgrade upgrade your C drive. So you're going to go this PC. <coughs> now you might have local disk D or even local disk E or whatever the case is, but basically whatever one has your windows logo on, that's the one you're going to want to use. So you're going to right click on it, click properties. And basically once you get to this, you want to go disk cleanup and make sure you click every single box. And obviously we've already done this a lot and I do this every week or so. So it the, that's the reason like that mine's not that big, but sometimes if you haven't done it, it can save up to like three or four gigabytes. Like right now I probably only have a couple hundred millibytes. Yeah. I only have a hundred millibytes, but sometimes if you haven't done it in a while, you can do it a ton. Right? So basically this kind of just deleted all again, those useless files just kind of like temp and then you're just going to okay it delete files again, just cleaning everything up making sure everything is good and again none of this will affect your pc none of this will make your pc worse or delete anything important trust me it just kind of makes sure everything is cleaned up properly so you got want to give this a couple seconds make sure everything is good depends how much you have it will take a little bit longer for example if you haven't done this ever it will take around two to three minutes well that's what it took for me my first time and depending how old your pc is then it might take a little bit longer so we're just gonna wait for this one so mine did actually just finish so it cleaned up my entire disc and mine took around two minutes i haven't done it in like i think two weeks so it does actually have a lot of unnecessary tabs open etc so trust me this is a really good one to do and the next one is you want to click tools right next to general and you want to check your error check-in just to make sure there's no problems with your pc make sure about nothing's bad's happening it says 10 minutes but as you guys can see it literally dropped down to 15 seconds again depending how slow and how fast your pc is this will kind of defer the time mine was just successfully scanned so i have no problems but if you do have a problem it should show a solution if not i just recommend looking it up online and then you want to do optimize and defragment drive and basically you want to go to optimize and just leave it a couple seconds and let it run. And this will just optimize it to make sure again, everything is working smoothly. Everything is going good and everything is basically running the way it needs to be. Right. And then you're just going to close all of that. 
and that's basically it for the PC settings. So now let's go into Fortnite and I'll show you guys the Fortnite settings you need to change. So now that we're loading into Fortnite, basically there is a couple things that you can optimize to allow yourself to give the best FPS possible. And I'm not talking about stretch res because stretch res is banned and that new stretch res, honestly, I don't think is worth it. If you want to do that, just look up new stretch res, it's Jarian or Code Life or whatever you want to do. But these are just some in-game settings kind of you can fix to help actually improve yours a little bit. And basically what you're going to want to do is go to settings. And the settings is definitely new. I haven't seen this before, but you're going to want to go to settings. If you like, if you're on PC again, you're going to want to make sure all these are on off or low and actually go your view distance doesn't matter that much, but you can either go far or epic. Some people go medium, but I recommend around far is the best for you, but everything else you want on off or low, then you want to make sure your motion blurs off your V syncs off show FPS is on just because you can see what you're kind of going. And then you want your allow multi-threaded rendering on. So basically there was this old kind of trick that someone did that figured out that allowed you to use multi-threading CPU. So for example, if you had more than four CPUs, Fortnite only allowed you to use four inside of the game. And then this guy figured out how to use more than four. And then Fortnite figured out that it was probably the better idea to just allow it in their game. So you want to allow this on because if you have more CPUs, basically it allows you to work with all of them instead of just like half or whatever the case is. Then the next you want to go to settings. And this is very important. And this is the big controller one that I guarantee or console one that I guarantee you will boost you up like 15 frames per second. It's absolutely crazy is you want to turn off all your replays, whether it's record creative mode replays, record large team replays or record replays. You want to turn all these off. And I guarantee you this will boost up your FPS, even if you're on console, if you're on PC or whatever the case is. Trust me, it is a big deal and you want to turn all these off. So basically, if you go to your replay mode, you won't be able to look at your replays, which is kind of a little bit annoying. But trust me, you will save so much FPS having no replays here. And let's be honest, how often are you actually looking at your replays and figuring out what you've done, etc. So basically, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and use creator code WraithFN in the item shop. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.